This scene shows a vehicle moving over a terrain. The vehicle is composed by rigid bodies linked together by several very special dynamic objects called constraints. Its motion is totally driven by bullet dynamics. Dampers are connected to the body, wheels are connected to the dampers and all those links are managed by using constraints. Most constraints also provide motors. For example, in this case, motors are used to make the wheel spin so the vehicle can move forward. Each bullet constraint can only link two dynamic bodies. To create a constraint, we need to select the two objects we want to link and then click on the constraint type we want to create under the FX Tools tab. Hinge, for example. The constraint has now been created and we can see how some new dynamic items have been added to the Bullet Dynamics panel. The first object we've selected has become a kinematic body, while the second one is now a rigid body. Then we have our constraint, just another null representing the link between the bodies. Once we hit play, we can see the rigid body rotating using the hinge as its dynamic pivot point. We can move the constraint in a different position at frame zero and then play the animation again to observe the different motions we can get. For more information on bullet constraints, please have a look at the documentation.